okay so hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel so today i am going to tell you how to fill the infosys launchpad uh, details uh, in detail i would like to uh, tell you about it so firstly infosys will uh, send you the mail uh, regarding the launchpad filling and then you have to uh, log in into that launchpad and then you have to change your password and create your own password after creating that after we log in into the infosys launchpad then uh, the, we have we will get this page in which we have to initiate onboarding so then we have to click on this proceed and then we have to provide this personal details that is uh, domicile uh, place of birth then marital status nationality these all you have to put and then you have to click on update after that we have to provide our family details so uh, there will be an option here you can see that add new family member so you have to click on this and enter your family details mother father if you have brother you can enter that so in this way you can enter this portion and then you have to click on proceed and then uh, we can see that uh, we have to provide our disability details if you have no disability you can put no otherwise yes or do not wish to disclose that's uh, that's your choice uh, it's upon you then uh, click on update and then uh, we have to provide our educational details so in this we can see that there is graduation that is our what we have studied right now if it is btech or be then we have to provide our uh, provisional certificate degree certificate as well as uh, consolidated grade card uh, if it is not received till now so you can use uh, the semester online mark sheets you can enter and then you can uh, enter your uh, percentage as well as cgpa in it and in 10th also you can put your enter your mark sheet 10th uh, mark sheet and you enter your details percentage uh, and also in 12th diploma similarly you uh, we have to do like that and then after entering all these details and uh, uh, uploading all the PDFs we have to click on proceed and then we, next page would be provide your achievements and extracurricular activities so whatever achievement you have uh, you have you can enter that and then you have to click on proceed next is provide your aspiration in Mysore so interest area so and enter your interest area in example for Java Python or anything that's your interest you can put that and then next is aspiration what's your aspiration in Mysore what is your main uh, dream or what is your main thing you have to do in Mysore so you can enter that and then you have to provide your location preference three location preference we can provide so enter that and then click on proceed so you do not have any work experience so click on proceed and then we have to provide our NSR details so if a person uh, does not have any, if a, you do, do not have any NSR, uh, so you can create uh, the NSR by uh, by uh, going to the NSR site and then creating the NSR card and then we have to attach the document also. After that you have to provide your passport details. So if you have passport you can provide yes and providing passport details and personal details and then uploading the front page and the back page of the passport if you do not have passport you have to apply for the passport because it is a mandatory document required for the virtual onboarding so uh, please apply for the passport if you have not applied because it's mandatory then we have to provide our pan card details we have to uh, enter our pan number and then enter the pan card uh, we have to upload the pan card in the in the format of PDF and then we have to click on proceed and then uh, we have to provide the Aadhaar details that is we have to enter the Aadhaar number name as per Aadhaar and then enter the date of birth you have to enter your date of birth and then we have to provide uh, the address details we can see that here there is a present address permanent address and emergency address all you have to enter your uh, address you have to enter your area your location your district all you have to enter here 
Next is provide your banking details. So as we know that Infosys is only uh, linked with ICICI Bank or Axis Bank. So whatever you choose, uh, you can do that or during the time of virtual onboarding, first day there will be a bank session. At that time, you uh, they will give a class in which uh, they will tell you about uh, which bank to choose or uh, they will provide bank session. So at that time, you can uh, decide that which bank you want to uh, join. So next, you have to provide your nomination details. So provide your family, no, uh, put your mother and father as a nominee. You can put 50% uh, gratuity and PF as it's your choice or otherwise you can provide 100% to any one of the person. Uh, so it's up to you. Then you have to click on update. So since it's a virtual onboarding, so we right now we does not have to provide any medical details. So right now we can click on no and then we can proceed. And then we have to provide an emergency contact number. You can pro provide your mother's or father's uh, emergency contact number or your another number you can provide. And he, in the right side there would be a uh, ID batch. Uh, your photo will be there. And then you have to upload. In this page you have to upload your offer letter in which each page should have your sign as well as in this uh, in one page where we have to provide the name uh, address as well as date with sign we have to provide so upload it here because right now there is no service agreement we have to only upload the offer letter in uh, with the candidate sign in each page then we have to provide the nat details NAT ID, NAT registered phone number, NAT registered email ID you have to enter. So next you have to provide your vaccination details. Uh, your first dose and second dose date you have to enter. Okay. Next uh, is that. Next there would be a statutory form. So here you have to acknowledge all the statutory form before you are joining. And then... Then you can authenticate here. So I already authenticate my uh, my details. That's why there is a re-authenticate. If you have not authenticated after entering all the details or current available details, you can authenticate. And then your uh, details would be saved. And then if you have an updated uh, details, if you want to update your details after updating, you can click on re-authenticate. So that's all about my uh, video. So 